Hello, my name's Mary McAfee and I'm a personal impact expert and career development coach. And this is another video in my series of top 10 tips for communicating confidently. And this one is all about influencing skills. like to share with you a really simple thought leadership model from Robert Cialdini, who's a social psychologist. And he has said that we really impact and influence on others in six different ways. And the first one is in reciprocation. And what we mean by reciprocation is if I do something for you, then you are potentially more than likely to do something back. So for me, so this is all about paying it forward. Really think about what service, what value can you add to your job, to your boss, to your clients and customers that perhaps doesn't cost you too much, but is very valuable for them because then you start to build that trust and they start to say, hey, they did that thing for me. Maybe I should start thinking about what I can do for them. So reciprocation is the first in your influencing model. The second is about commitment and consistency we like to know where we stand with people. So it's about turning up on time. It's about doing what you say you will do. That's what builds the trust again. That's what influences people. They know that you are one of these people that can become a trusted advisor. You know that they know that you are the go-to person because you're committed and you are consistent in your service provision. Even if you don't work in a service providing uh, kind of industry, you are your own business when you show up at work. So think about that. Think about the services that you provide and the commitment that you have to show. So the next one is social proof and we're all into social proof nowadays. It's all about how many likes you get on your Instagram account or your Facebook or even on YouTube. What we like is we are more likely to buy from somebody or to join somebody if we know that other people are already in that space with them. So when it comes to your job, thinking about social proof, it's thinking about all the good feedback that you have had over the last year or two years. If somebody pays you a compliment and says, I really liked that piece of work, it really made a difference to me, write it down, stick it in an email to yourself, and stick it in you know, my feedback, positive feedback box so that you can remember it. If somebody says that presentation was really impactful on me or thank you very much for looking after that member of staff uh, when they really needed it the most or the new member of the team is showing them around, keep all that feedback because that is your proof for the next time when you're going to ask for a pay rise or perhaps you want to influence your client, your customer or your boss, you've got it at your fingertips and that is the proof of how valuable you are. The next thing is about liking. Our unconscious biases tell us that we are more likely to give somebody a job or to bring somebody onto a team or to give them the cool piece of work if we like them. And how do you get people to like you? Well, it's quite simple, like them first. I know a lot of people that say, oh, you know, I'm just go to my job. I, I don't care if nobody likes me. I'm just there to pick up my paycheck and to just go on with my work. Well, actually you will be more successful at work if you have likability. And to do that, it's taking time to build the relationship with the other people that you're working with, get to know them. A little bit of self-disclosure goes a long way, what you did at the weekend, what you're into, and try and find a way to connect people. What is it about you and that other person that you share? And that's how you build people to like you. And the next one in the list of how we influence people is authority. People like authority, meaning that if you are an expert in something, share it. Allow people to know that wherever it is you are in your career, you are really good at this particular thing because that will help to influence them to think, you know, they're an authority on that. I need to remember that for the first time, for the next time that perhaps I need to bring somebody into my team that has those skills. So think about what really good skills you have and start shouting about them. Tell people what you're good at. Play from your strengths. 
And the final one is scarcity. We also like to engage with things that we feel that maybe we're going to run out of. So that's why, you know, you have these 50% off for this time only or a half price sale or two for one, but only for this weekend. So think about in your career, what can you offer for a limited time that's really going to be impactful for another human being or for your work in general or your office for that limited time? Because they are then more than likely to be influenced to actually buy into your services. I hope this has been of use to you. This has all been about influencing skills and I look forward to seeing you in my next video in my top 10 tips for communicating confidently. Thanks for watching.